Well, somebody say praise the Lord. Come on, you can do better than that. I said say praise the Lord. Now, if you really love Jesus and you're not ashamed to let somebody know you really love him, I want you to do two things for me. First of all, I want you to lay your hand up on somebody close to you. But let me say hi, hi. Well, before, before you lay hands on anybody, because once that starts, I, I may not get a chance to do much else. Um, let me, first of all, acknowledge the angel of the house. In his absence, my friend and brother, your bishop and pastor, Noel Jones. We honor him and love him. He, he, may be, he may be watching the live stream, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know. And um, uh, I was supposed to be, this is my, my birthday weekend, so I was supposed to be off today. This was my, I, I was not going to be ministering today. We had planned, we had a service yesterday, and I was taking today off. And on, I guess it was Friday, I was sitting at lunch with my family birthday lunch just a small thing and I got a text message and it was Bishop Jones and and it, it you know he said Mac because that's what he calls me he said Mac and you know I, I was reading the text message but I could hear his voice he said, uh, Mac I, I need you I, I need you I need you to. and I'm, I'm looking at the text message and, and it says I'm, I'm not going to be able to get back and I need you to cover me on Sunday. And I'm thinking, I, I first looked at it, and I told Elder Joey, when I first looked at the text, I was sitting with my, my family. I said, no, no. I'm taking the weekend off. I have never had Sunday brunch in Los Angeles. Not even once. I've never even had Sunday. I was going to Sunday. I said, no. And then the text came back like 10 minutes later. Uh, 10 minutes later, what? No answer? Your brother needs you. And I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there, and, and I said, Lord, I, I need to rest. I got to fly out tonight. I got to preach in New Jersey tomorrow night, come right back. And I said, Lord, I need to rest. And the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit said in me, what if you couldn't get back and you needed the rest and you needed your brother to cover for you? He said, sow a seed. And so I text Noel back, and I, here, this was my text. Jesus must really love you, because I'm coming. So here I am, praise God. And uh, we're glad to be here. I want you to lay your hands up on somebody close to you. And I want you to just look at them squarely in the eye and say you are very blessed you're not talking strongly enough yet look at them squarely in the eye and tell them you are very blessed to be anywhere near me today tell them i am god's anointed and tell them anything good can happen near me now look at him again. Tell him, I am one of them that Jesus was talking about when he said these signs shall follow them. I'm one of them. Tell him, somebody on my road is leaving here with a miracle from God. Jesus said, Wherever these hands are laid, the sick will recover. So if it's physical sickness, financial sickness, emotional sickness, circumstantial sickness, the moment I laid my hands on you, a miracle started somewhere in your life. I say receive it in Jesus name now if you pray in the Holy Ghost 
give me about 30 seconds of Holy Ghost prayer for them right now. Put your hand on them. Pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Kerando Raba Kashata. Sate Rebo Rande Lema Kashata. See, watch it. They're, they're falling out already. Lay your hands on somebody. Shante Lebo Raba Kashate. Sinde Lebo Rande Lemo Shata. Come on, give me 15 more seconds. Pray in the Spirit. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree for a miracle in your life, in your circumstance, in your body, in Jesus. In Jesus' name. <laughs> yeah now my father in Jesus name I thank you for your presence for it is your presence that makes the difference Moses said that it is your presence that distinguishes us from all the other people on the face of the earth it is that your presence goes with us Thank you for your word, for the innumerable company of angels to which we've come. I release their ministry in this room and in the lives of the people under the sound of my voice. Now, Father, your word is already anointed. And so I ask now that you would anoint me that I might speak as the oracle of God to the heart of the matter and to the center of that which concerns your inheritance today. We declare liberty and victory belong to us. Satan, we serve notice on you. Your contracts are canceled. Your power is broken. And we command you to loose our brothers. And let our sisters go free. And everything that belongs to this child of God, we agree for it to come into their hands. In the name of Jesus, and everyone who agreed with the man of God said, it is so. Look at your neighbor and say, I got it. Now, if you believe you got it, I want you to give God an I got it praise. Praise it like it's already done. Come on. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord and let me take this opportunity once again to just say hello to everybody greet you in Jesus name remind you that Jesus is Lord and there is none other beside him amen and again we are honored to be with you today and of course uh, to Bishop in his absence I pray that he's getting some rest and we hope that all is continually prospering and being uh, blessed and increased in his life and to the city of refuge family thank you for your warm reception of us and receiving us today uh, i've got some of the full harvest family in the house too uh, they showed up to come oh look at you look at them they came over to be with us god bless you it's good to see you thank you y'all were magnificent yesterday and i want to I want to thank you for that. And then, of course, uh, last but not least, uh, my wife, Lady Priscilla, is here today. God bless you, my dear. And my youngest son, Seth, I guess he disappeared. Uh, this, is my, this is my second son over here, Cameron, who's now my personal assistant. Stand up. Amen. Somebody said he, he, looks, he looks a little like me, so I told him he got to stay out of trouble in this town. He's, uh, you know. So anyway... Uh, uh, and of course we, we're grateful to the Lord for his goodness to us and there is a word from God today so I want to get right to the word of God let me oh they, they went, uh, I didn't even know they were bringing this stuff but I'm not going to talk about it uh, this is what happens when you're standing in grace who needs it okay come you got up first I'm going to sow that to you somebody say grace 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 you know there's a lot of preaching and teaching on grace right now in the body of Christ you know that uh, uh, this one, th this is a revelation God gave me concerning the Lord's table, concerning the communion. 
I had a visitation of the Lord where he ministered to me concerning the communion. God bless you, man. How you doing? You all right? Amen. Going back to your seat now. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Come back. Come back. Come back. I'm kidding, man. I'm kidding. Go ahead. Go ahead. Take that. Uh, and this is, and, and this one is called tapping into supernatural provision. How, how, many, how many of you know, how many of you know that God wants you to tap into his supply that is inexhaustible all right uh i got three that have come uh i'm gonna give that to you and you you give it to whoever you want to have it amen i'm not gonna get in no trouble at the city i'm a, I'm, I'm you give it to whoever you want to have those things are out there and i want you to to get them uh and and allow them to minister to your life amen all right let's get to the word of god shall we i want to go very quickly to the gospel as matthew records it I want to go to the gospel as Matthew records it and I want you to turn to chapter 17 the gospel as Matthew records it chapter 17 and I'm going to begin the reading of God's Word at verse number 24 now let me say this because when the when the choir was singing just before I, I came out and they were singing oh Lord bless me indeed the Holy Spirit spoke in my spirit a few we, a few um, weeks ago actually and said to me that in the month of June I was to focus on something very very strategic I didn't know that I was going to be with you and you must understand this that whenever God says he is doing something or he is going to do something understand that anything that God ever does is something he's always doing but then there are times, look at your neighbor, say times. Say it again, times. One more time, say times. There are times when God emphasizes a specific area of his character and his nature and his goodness for the sake of his people and specific things that he wants to accomplish in them. And so the, the word of the Lord came to me a few weeks ago and he said to me that I want you to tell my people in the month of June, tell them I am working, not getting ready to, not about to, not fixing to. Tell them I am working miracles in their money. Miracles in their financial in their economic and in their material lives. Look at your neighbor and say, miracles in your money, in your provision. Now, I get the reputation of being a money preacher. It's kind of funny because I don't preach on money in my church. I, I take six weeks a, a year and I teach on tithing and on offering and that's it. But because, you know, people see me on TV and I'm doing this stuff and they run these things all the time, people think, you know, I'm a money preacher. I'm a gospel preacher. Are you still here? I said, are you still here? But I also understand that a part of the gospel is the prosperity of God's people. Are you still here? I said, are you still here? Now, look, I'm not scared of you. I will come down here. Are, are you still here? And, and, so, and so the Spirit of the Lord said to me, he said, I want you to, to minister in this area. And this passage was what he directed me to immediately when the word of the Lord came to me. Now I want you to lay your hand up on your brother and lay, because I'm not, I'm not going to preach about money. I'm going to preach about Jesus. And I'm going to talk to you and show you something from his word. But I want you to lay your hand up on your brother or your sister and say this. Now I want you to understand it. There is a miracle anointing on my life. Listen to me. There's a miracle anointing on my life. When I preach, miracles happen. Yes. It's a grace that God has placed upon my life. It's not something I created. It's not something I work up. So, so somebody here. No, you're not listening. Somebody here is about to get a financial breakthrough, a supernatural release 